Scorpio! We're back! I'm back! I'm so happy. Um, this video... I think we do need a disclaimer. Do you think we need a disclaimer at the beginning of this? We don't want any haters, basically. We don't want any fucking people just trying to hate on the topic or what we our have sexualities. To if you got something to say... That's you need to make it. You need to make it very clear. You need and to conducive make conducive to the conversation. Exactly. You can't just say bullshit just because you don't agree with what we're saying. You know. Exactly. So this video is on queer sexuality, and if you don't know what queer is, it's an umbrella term that basically anybody can identify with. Even someone who's hella straight could radically identify as queer. Basically, it means that um, it covers bisexual, lesbian, straight, gay, FTM. M to F, what, what else is there? Like, just everything. Like, yeah, whatever you basically identify as in the LGBT community, you can also identify yeah. with If queer. you're a person who, um... Even if you're not in the LGBT community, yeah. really, if you were trying to get radical with this kind of stuff, even a straight person could, could say, I'm, could say queer. I'm queer just because of the whole sexual fluidity thing and all, that it's an umbrella term for everybody to be And to, to me, the reason I identify as queer is because I become attracted to people irrespective of their gender. Um, I usually do talk to women because that's what catches my eyes most times, but if a cool guy comes along, what, who am I to hate on some cool game? Like, who am I to, you know, really hate some, on someone's flow? Like, if I'm feeling you, I'm not going to cut myself off. Because in the same way, in my straight days, if I had cut myself off, there's been a whole world that I wouldn't be a part of to this day. So why should I just, because I'm messing with women, cut men off when I, it was the other way around a few years ago? You know, like, I just feel like... It doesn't make any sense. So, queer works for me. And what I'm really trying to get out of this video is social conditioning and how we deal with men and women. I don't, I've don't. i never really messed with a male-to-female person or F to M or anything like that. So no, I've never messed with anybody like So, that I either. can't really speak on that. But I do notice differences in myself when I'm dealing with men and when I'm dealing with women. With women, like, sex is so fluid. Like, it just... It just goes from one thing to another to another and there's no, like, stopping in between. Mm -hmm. But with guys, it's like, argh, like, not that I don't like him, it's just, I don't know, like, I gotta slow it down, I gotta, okay, so you remember in elementary school we had first base, second base, third base, I feel mm. like, as grown women, just in my opinion, what I've experienced, we still do that, like, I feel, not so much like you're consciously thinking, oh, he's touching my titties, I'm going to first base, but I really feel <laughs> like that little childhood games was like a social conditioning for women and how to deal with men like how not to be a slut or this, you see what i'm saying like well yeah everything that we're taught as young young kids is internalized as we get older everything so including your sex with men you know including sex with well sex with women isn't really talked about at all so you don't no, really know where to put boundaries, boundaries or where to, and like... Maybe, is that it? That it's so fluid because we haven't made the rules yet? Or because society hasn't really ex made the accepted version of the rules of... Well, it's because also um, when women have sex, it's not counted as sex because there's no penis involved. Mm. Real st Think about how many times as a lesbian you've been asked that, or told mm. that you don't fuck. That you don't yeah. know how to fuck. Think about that. Like... Oh, I'd be fucking... Yeah, I'd be fucking too. <laughs> believe me. Like, the way that I say, um, the way that I come by and, and tell people when they ask me how do lesbians fuck is just exactly the way you do, through penetration and through what feels good, you know? And mm -hmm. with lesbians, I think that our definition of sex is so different from the, like, what straight sex is. Because straight sex literally is just penis and vagina. Yeah, yeah and know? it's like very A, B, and C. This yeah. is the way you get there. And then with, with lesbians and with women... And I'm sure with, like, FTM and MTF, you know, it's it's so different as to what is sex because mm -hmm. of the different boundaries that you put for for your The only shit, time you know? I feel like straight sex gets close to lesbian sex, just, like, how it feels and just the way things are done, is, like, within relationships. Like, once you get super comfortable and you get past, like, the routine and you really get into what actually feels good and what's not deemed as sex in the straight world. Does that make sense? So, like, oh, for example, in my last relationship with the dude, of course, in the beginning, we were having sex, right? And it was very, if I analyze it now, it was very, like, what human, like, what straight people are taught to do. You make out, you get to the titties, you start, you know, you, you fool around, and, and then, then you have sex. 
And once we got closer and got past that, we did things in a totally different order. And sometimes we would even, like, go as far as penetration at all if that was enough to get us off. So I feel like, I don't know, straight people are missing out because they're in this... It's a bubble. This you know, what about... Rule. What do you think about um, straight sex when it comes to, like, strap-ons? Like, women strapping I think on that's dudes. I think that's... It's sex. Is that yeah. still straight? Is it straight sex? Because technically, you think about that, that's actually really gay. That's actually really, really, really queer. Gay. That's really, really queer. Que- that's a straight person who can identify as queer. Yeah, someone who gets fucked in the ass. A dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's super cool. Well, okay, so back to queer and what queer means. I think, um, well, I just wanted to make things clear. that I also identify as queer and as a lesbian, and I use the words interchangeably. But the reason why I do it is a little different. I would like to say that I'm pretty sure that there's a dude out there in the whole world that could probably, um, you know, I could, yeah, could be compatible with me, but not likely, I don't think it's likely just because of the way that uh, I'm approached by men or the way that, um, I guess things have happened throughout my life that I don't really give too many guys a chance to do it. And do you think if you met that guy and you guys were starting to get down, do you think it would feel weird to you? Or do you think because yeah, he's no. the one dude that you'd feel comfortable? Well, if it was that one dude, I'm pretty sure I would feel comfortable, but I'd have to get past a lot of different things that have already happened. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've set up so many, like, walls against men because of certain things that have happened, and also because I always put my guard up because the first thing that a dude is going to do is probably get at me thinking that I'm straight, you know? So mm-hmm. I already got that guard up, Yeah. you know? But once I got past that, most likely, if I were interested in him, the sex should be fluid. It should be fluid, because I wouldn't be with him if it wasn't. Like, there's no way that I could be with the dude. Yeah. And if... Yeah, there's no way I could be with the dude and be comfortable if I couldn't have, like, a fluid fluid kind of sex sex. or a fluid kind of, like, energy with him. You know, but my energy flows real easy with women, Mm. so, you know. With me, it's different. I've been... Since I came out, I've been basically just strictly talking to girls just because that's who's been catching my eye, who's been, you know, the energy flow. No, but you had a couple of dudes Yeah, I've had, they're sprinkled in there, but, you know, but every time I get down with a guy, it's like, it feels weird. Like, the same way it felt weird getting down with the female, like, in the beginning of me coming out, it feels weird in that same kind of awkward way. Yeah, like, oh, the first time Time. type of thing. (laughs) I feel like a virgin all over. (laughs) Mm. I don't know, y'all. What do you think? Um, what are your thoughts on queer? And what are your thoughts on queer relationships? What are your thoughts on queer sex? What are your thoughts on... Straight sex? Do you think s- straight people should take a hint from us gay people just getting it on however it feels good? If you're a queer person who, like, has sexual relations with both genders or genders in between, like, how does it feel going back and forth or all over the... Uh, just, what are your thoughts? Like, And also, why is there so much hate against people who like both genders? Because... Okay, it's obvious that almost every single bisexual person that you talk to will have a different definition of bisexuality, which is basically saying the same thing as queer is, you know? But bisexual has that, that, um... Bisexual only identifies that there's two genders. I like the word pansexual because it... Because it makes... It recognizes multiple genders, genders, the spectrum of it. So that's one reason I don't go by bisexual. I just don't like that word just because there's so much associated with it. Yeah, there's so much associated with it, too. Automatically, when you say, I'm bisexual, people are going to think, oh, you're... Yeah, you're a hoe. You must be a hoe because you You like both genders. Or you must must like both equally. And that Mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense at all because most bisexuals don't. And they have a different definition of everything, so... And most straight people don't like every type of guy equally, so... It doesn't make sense it's either way. Nice. It's just people labeling each other and trying to... Put us in categories. Exactly. Fuck categories. Fuck labels. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're home. I missed you. I missed you too. You're sharing our moment. Oh, uh... Look my red tongue. I love hot Cheetos. Uh... <laughs> Alright, well... We're going to stop being retarded. Let us know what you think and... Hit us up. Yeah. All right. Peace out.